Hey guys, I'm back here with another video. Today I'm going to show you what I can do with this air gun and I'll t tell you where you can go to to make it. And so I have a uh, Nerf bullet stuck in here right now. And this is all glued together, so that'll come out eventually. So what you do is you need, for this project, you need to um, be able to go out to Home Depot or something. And um, what you need is, I'll show you, and please stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll tell you where you can go to find a list of all the things you need to build this stuff. This is so much fun to build, and so there's, you can fire it two ways. You can fire the full tank, where this is open, and you just go like this, and it shoots out all the air that's in your whole tank. Or you can have this closed and then you just open this one let it fill up close it and then twist this knob but so right now there's a bullet stuck in there so I'm gonna pump it I'm gonna pump it up the max you want to pump this up to is 80 psi and this is a nerf shotgun but I'm just clearing the chamber right now because it was but the max you ever do want to pump it is to 80 psi but i don't need to pump it all that far because i'm just going to uh i'm just gonna pump it to like 50. so close it oh. and then you gotta just this is closed. Hear this? That's all you need to hear. And close it, and then just. That was way louder than it's ever been before. And so this is stuck in the chamber. My bad. And this is what we got out of it. We got this like tiny little bullet. So you guys want to test and see if it works? Because that's what I'm about to do. Put the actual barrel on. Put our bullet in it. It just hit the bottom. That took a while. Uh, now we're gonna put this on. Let's... Okay, now that it's on and this is shut, then, yep, yeah, you hear that again. And see, even now, it's still going kind of sideways. So I'm going to shoot it this way. Like this. There's not enough pressure behind it. So now I'm just going to use the full tank, which is probably like 10 PSI by now. Or it's not going to shoot at all. I guess it just doesn't like to shoot. Oh. So I guess it shot it. But it never came out. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, something happened to it. Guess we'll never know. So, now we're gonna put the barrel back in. We're gonna put in a couple shock, uh, we're gonna put in a couple Nerf bullets. Uh, we're gonna put in four. One. Oh, done. Three. Four. Okay, and I just did what I did last time to get one stuck in the barrel. Yep, I got stuck in there again. Because if you leave this open when you're doing it. Oh, see, look, it's coming out. You gotta leave it closed when you're making, when you're uh, loading it. Or you can just, you don't have to load it from the barrel since it, the barrel comes off. You can just, uh, just like take the barrel off and then load it like that so I'm gonna yep close that put the outer barrel on put your last round in there uh, close this and I'm gonna pump this to like 70 psi
there we go. So, front valves closed. Open the back one. Close that. And shoot it. So it does have some decent range. So then you just shut that again. Put the uh, rest of your Nerf bullets in there. I just put one in there and see how that goes. Open this again. Pick up the bullet uh, and shoot it. It didn't shoot. That means it's low on psi. So I'm gonna load in the rest of my bullets because that didn't fire. So I still have three left. Let's put them all in. One, two, three. Okay. The whole barrel sideways. Right.